being so isolated here in Tasmania, some days just really sucks. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Ashley here, American who moved to Tasmania. Um, like over eight months now, which is insane. It is Tuesday, which means that it is off from work Tuesday. It is department building Tuesdays. It is lab Tuesdays. And I'm going to finish getting ready. I also have to pop by. I like to shoot content in St. David's Park because it's my favorite park here. Well, I'm sure the botanical gardens are really nice, but it's like, anyway, really out of the way. I have to shoot content, just a TikTok for Alia Skin. They're an Australian brand. What is this? What is this? What is this? It's like made out of some Australian ingredients or something. I should know that. I need to look into that. Um, so yeah, prepping for that, was just packed up my lunch, decided that I couldn't wait until I walked to a cafe to have coffee, so making that. This is the competition coffee from Anthony Douglas, who is the um, World Barista Champion from Melbourne. The key's from uh, Axel Roasters in Melbourne too, which is awesome. Yeah, I think those are all updates. Like, subscribe. Yeah, let's do it. Hobart. Woo. This is kind of the setup we got going on. Gotta pack all this and let's do it. Side note, <clears throat> this is a new coffee shop that just opened up the other day. Super nice owners. It's interesting because they use Five Senses coffee from the mainland and the only other place in Hobart that uses that coffee is Yellow Burned, which is literally on the same block down the street. I called it Yellow Bernard for the longest time, but I was told it's burn it. The coffee's okay. I know some people love it, but um, yeah, so anyway, Bloom, super nice people. Yeah. So the pink trees that I was planning on shooting with all of the petals have fallen so they are just plain green and um now i look so weird just carrying around this bottle of moisturizer like all the pretty pink flowers are like oh oh ashley i'll figure something out So after grabbing coffee and stuff, getting some work done, I was meaning to pick up my camera or, I don't know, do something, anything, but some things came up and yeah, just really made me want to sit and chat about it because like I think one thing that makes living in Tasmania so different and I mean this isn't exclusive to living in Tasmania this is really anywhere that is physically isolating essentially is mentally isolating as well is the best way that I can describe it like I've never had like so many mental ups and downs and of feeling lonely and then like not feeling lonely at all in, in my life since moving to Tasmania and that could 10,000% just be my personal experience. Well, I mean, this this channel is my personal experience, so I don't know why I shouldn't have to give that disclaimer because like if you clicked on this video, obviously it's my personal experience. I think I'm just like thinking about because on TikTok, for example, if literally, of course, if I post a TikTok video or any content I post, it's, it's my personal experience. And everyone in the comments is like, oh, well, you can't generalize this or do this. And it's like, but I'm not generalizing anything. I'm just sharing my experience. Anyway, side tangent. I think I've just like, come to realize how when you live somewhere so physically isolating, it just becomes, in return, very mentally isolating. Like, being just so separate from everywhere. And where I grew up in the States and Northeast, like, if I was feeling, I don't know, like I needed a change of pace. I would just, you know, drive an hour or not even somewhere else. Not even, well, I mean, I could go literally like 10 minutes down the road to Target and get out and 
whatnot. But I mean, like, if I want, like, a real change of scenery, like, an hour or so and be in a city, like, a big city or somewhere more remote and, you know, it, it wasn't where I grew up wasn't a physically isolating place like you could bop around to so many different kinds of climates experiences and whatnot um without having to you know it costing an arm and a leg to get there where as like if i wanted to get away and go to the mainland or something for a change of scenery change of experience domestic flight prices are insane right now and like even to get really anywhere in Tasmania, you need a car. So I would need to rent a car or I could take the bus, like the public bus up to like Lonnie, Launceston. Um, but even there, I've heard not great things about up there. So I don't, I'm not really in a rush to get up there if I'm being honest, because everyone I know who's lived there, been there has just not liked it at all. So my, um, view on that part of Tasmania isn't isn't great I mean I haven't been up that way yet but anyway yeah it's just I don't know it's just like an interesting concept how really where you live and where you live in reference to different things really goes to impact your mental health and everything I don't know it's you know I'm I'm okay I'm okay you know just having one of those days, one of those afternoons, but it's just like being so isolated here in Tasmania, some days just really sucks. Like, I mean, naturally, like it, it sucks sometimes. Like most of the time, it doesn't get to me. I could care less. I, for the most part, love living here. It's just, yeah, it's like, okay, well, there's only X amount of people that live here. And so then therefore that decreases your chances of like having really good connection, like really good friendships with people. I mean, I have, I have some great friends here. I'm just like using that as like as, as an example or whatnot. I hope I'm making sense. It's just, you know, different things and like limitations of being so isolated um, sometimes just gets to me emotionally yeah I decided to stop moping around and run some errands so just went to Kmart got some things and now I'm at Kohl's they have all of these festive things except I don't think any of these are dairy free I'm gonna keep going through them but I haven't found one yet I found two what a shocker taste test coming soon okay time for a Kohl's Christmassy taste test because I know that's just exactly what all of you want this is the content you guys signed up for right okay well this is holiday but it expires before Christmas okay well this is fruitcake slices gluten and dairy free but I'm just dairy free sounds very British, very Commonwealth-esque. And then I was surprised these uh, festive ice stars were dairy free as well. See, I'm like reading the ingredients like 16,000 times to make sure that they are. And we are good. Made in Germany. The other ones are made in the UK, I believe. Okay, let's try the fruitcake first. It also just doesn't didn't help that I have been having a really bad sweet tooth. So I wanted to buy pretty much everything. Oh, is it like marzipan on top? What? Hello. It's like, you know, okay, here we go. That is really depressing. Would not get again. Okay, next. Like that's the kind of thing that you would have like with tea or something. That's probably what it's meant for anyway. Like it's not horrible, it's just very like nothing special. Like maybe if the icing was like there was more icing or if it was creamier or something. I have a feeling I'm gonna love these and if I don't, I'm going to be very sad.
These are very good and I kind of want to eat all of them. Both aren't overwhelmingly sweet. Like the ice stars are softer than I was expecting, but fits the craving, I guess. Okay, well, it's been such an eventful day. I feel like I've been rambling for so long. And if you still are watching, please give it a like because the algorithm, it, it's a mess. You don't need me to tell you like 16,000 times as well as all the other YouTubers that you watch on this platform. But I appreciate you. Um, and yeah, I will catch you guys next time. Bye.